After working with KDE for a while, I've decided to try Mate. Let's see how that works. Well, first, let's create folders on the desktop. Works fine. We have create folder, create launcher, create document. I'll create an empty document. Works fine. Create folder. It even knows to give it a new name. It does the same thing with file. And if I open up a folder, it will do the same thing. Create folder, create folder. Same thing with create document. One thing that's not here is there's no create launcher. There was on the desktop create launcher. No create launcher here. If I get new file from within the folder and I copy it, and then I paste it, works fine, and it knows to give it a new name. If I copy it from the desktop, though, and I paste it here, it gives me a dialog. It's one that makes so much more sense than what I saw with KDE. It's warning you that you're going to replace a file, new file. It tells you that replacing it will overwrite the content. It shows you the original, what you'll replace it with. It gives you a chance to rename it if you want. It makes a lot more sense. One thing that doesn't make sense about it is I can go here and minimize it. It zoomed down to there, but I can't get that back up. In fact, I can't do anything. I can move this window around, but right click doesn't work, clicking doesn't work, nothing here is working. All I can do is minimize this, bring it back, and then get that. And then I could rename and we can create the file. It gets even worse if I try to delete something right here. I'll click delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? Well, one thing I like before I get to the bug is there's no check mark right here that I could accidentally hit to stop this dialog from coming up. So I can't accidentally delete things as easily. But here's the bug. If I go ahead and I minimize this, even minimizing this, bringing it back, other than moving folders around, menus don't work, buttons don't work, closing doesn't work, clicking on the desktop doesn't work, you're just sort of stuck. I can go into my terminal and type in this secret thing, xkill, it's not really secret, but how many users would know this? Select the windows whose client you wish to kill with button one. That means generally to left click it, unless you have a mouse designed for someone who's left-handed. So I will go here, I will click it, it will go ahead, restart my desktop, and then I'm back to being okay. I could go ahead, open up a folder. That's a little odd. Let's go ahead, open up this folder with all these items. One thing that I really like here that was not true in KDE is if I go ahead and I delete this, it will warn me, are you sure you want to? Yes, and it knows that that was deleted, brings me up to the desktop. It doesn't leave me with a folder that's just sort of in limbo. Even if I went into the terminal and deleted it, it would know to go ahead and show me the desktop and not show me a folder that doesn't exist. So the user interface here on that is much, much better. One thing I don't really like is if I go ahead, let's go ahead and resize this. Make sure I've resized them both. Any folder I now open, let's open my home, it will come up there small. If I make it big, this one will be the same size. And so all folders seem to remember the same size. They don't have a per folder setting. Something else, if I shrink it down real small, these items just get lost there. Yeah, I can't get those back. These ones, though, show up as a menu. I think that makes more sense than having them wrap around. The menu doesn't go away no matter where I move my mouse. I think that's handled fairly well. One thing I don't like about that toolbar, though, is I cannot edit this toolbar in any way. I guess I can. I could go ahead and add text to it, but I can't change the items. Another slight quirk here is if I open up a folder, something I like in this, and KDE has this as well, if I want these two windows to be the same size, it will snap. I guess it's only if they are exactly touching each other, which it snaps to, by the way, and I like that. Wish that OS 10 had that. It'll snap, but not when I'm making it bigger, only when I'm making it smaller. So it gets stuck a little bit there. Should snap in both cases. Should go ahead and have that alignment. Also, when I shrink these, the sidebar does not get absurdly small. If I do make it bigger, it does forget the size. It'll shrink down, but only to a reasonable size and then be fine. On KDE, remember that shrunk down to an absurd size and did not get bigger again. Still, this doesn't remember. It would be nice if it did. Looking at this toolbar right here, I like the fact that we have different information right here that we can get to. It's really easy to travel around. Most people would probably keep it in places. That's the default. One thing that might be a little bit too easy is if I hit this X, a lot of people wouldn't know how to get that back. How do you? Uh-oh, what do I do? Well, you have to go back to here and then say side pane. Not a big deal, 
but a lot of people might not know, and it's very easy to close that. The search is over here. It works fairly well. If I hit X and I hit return, it will go ahead and show me location or file type. It'll show me destinations, places, all of this works. If I do change something, file type, I do have to hit this reload, but it will go ahead and do the search. I have seen cases like this, what we're seeing right now, where it just seems to take forever to do, and all I've really done at that point is just close out of it. It just seems like it's taking too long. Maybe if I waited long enough, it would come back, but possibly the search is just sort of crashing on you. If I go ahead and I add these multiple tabs, I could go to File, New Tab, File, New Tab, or Control T. I can create something in one tab. And if I go over to this tab, maybe let's move to a different folder, jump back here. I could drag stuff between tabs, even lets me drag in. Real easy, works real well. Could drag it back. That works great. Could drag the order of them around. There is no way to detach tabs, nor to get different folders and combine them as one tabbed window. That's a shame. I do like, though, if I go and close this window, as I said, no silly error message. It just closes the whole window. If I do have multiple tabs again, and I go to close them, I do have to sort of chase this X each time. Not a huge deal, but it would be nice if they did fix that and made that a little easier to work with. Last thing we'll look at are some of the menus. One thing I like, if I go here, I could go to File, Close All Windows, and it does just that. Really easy to get to, really easy to use. It closes multiple windows. It's something I missed when I was using KDE. Back to opening up a folder. If I look right here, there's bookmarks. I think those bookmarks are great. If there's folders you go back to, would be great if you could bookmark a tab folder and open up all of your tabs again. You can't. Looking at the edit, the undo works. Select items matching is a pretty cool thing. Wish that you did not have to use wildcards. If I go ahead, just type in U because I have an untitled folder and click OK, it doesn't know to find anything. But if I use wildcards correctly, click OK, it will, of course, select what it should. And the last thing I'll look at in menus, and this is just completely broken, is if I go to the help, everything I've tried with help just comes up saying not found. That's a pretty big deal. You have a help button. You have help that you're offering but there's no way to get to it as far as I've found. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me what I'm missing there. 